assalamu alaikum and bismillahir rahmanir rahim dear student and viewer this is tanveer tara and you are watching my youtube channel mlt lectures by tanveer tara and if you have still not subscribed the channel so do subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the new video so let's start the topic and uh, today topic we have alpha thalassemia syndrome the contents include in this uh, uh, lecture are uh, the first is causes of alpha thalassemia then uh, we have classification of alpha thalassemia silent carrier alpha thalassemia threat alpha thalassemia proper and its lab diagnosis will be discussed in this lecture and uh, finally what is hydrofatalis and the treatment of uh, alpha thalassemia so starting uh, alpha thalassemia in this group of disease, uh, the deficiency is in the synthesis of uh, alpha globin chain. And uh, where the alpha globin chain is uh, deficient, the beta globin chains are not affected and uh, are produced at the normal rate. The human genome contains uh, two sets of uh, alpha gene, that is, two alpha gene on the chromosome inherited uh, from the father and uh, two alpha genes on uh, the chromosome uh, which are inherited from the mother and uh, all four of these genes are normally expressed in the developing red blood cells and uh, suppression of all four genes is needed to complete suppress alpha chain synthesis and uh, the normal mechanism of suppression of alpha gene is by deletion the uh, causes of thalassemia or uh, the molecular pathology uh, we know that there are two alpha globin genes on chromosome number 16 and uh, these uh, are two main type of thalassemia that uh, is alpha thalassemia and the other one is uh, alpha plus thalassemia so we uh, symbolize them as alpha not thalassemia and alpha plus thalassemia uh, Alpha uh, not thalassemia is that thalassemia in which both genes are inactivated or uh, in other words we can say that the alpha thalassemia result from the deletion of both alpha globin genes and there are many different size deletion one of which is particularly um, common in South East Asia and other way which occur um, in Mediterranean uh, population. Uh, they are more um, found in uh, these areas where uh, uh, alpha not thalassemia may also result from the deletion involving uh, HS40 and uh, that is the regulatory gene uh, which is uh, 40 KB upstream from the alpha globin gene cluster where on the other hand the alpha plus thalassemia uh, in which only one of the pair is affected and uh, uh, the molecular basis of uh, alpha plus thalassemia is more complicated uh, in some cases they result from deletion which remove one of the linked pair of alpha globin genes leaving the other one intact and uh, in other both alpha globin genes are intact but one of them has mutation which either particularly um, or partially um, or completely inactivates it for the classification of alpha thalassemia uh, we all know that this is a normal pattern for a normal hemoglobin of a normal human being uh, this is a normal pattern and uh, we have four genes for alpha chain uh, now what's happened and uh, the genes which are deleted completely deleted or partially de deleted and uh, these are silent carrier alpha thalassemia threat hbh disease and hb bar are also called hydrofatal these are the types of alpha thalassemia now what's happened here so look toward here here we have three genes three genes are present here for alpha so one two and this one is three so it's mean that one gene deletion is here and whenever we found one gene deletion that is known as silent carrier that is known as uh, silent carrier the pattern is known as the silent carrier now 
the second one two gene it's mean that we have two genes present and uh, one gene is here one gene is here or two gene are deleted here or two gene are present here so this is two genes and uh, this is called two gene deletion because we have two gene present here but two genes are uh, deleted over here so this uh, form is known as alpha thalassemia trait and uh, the pattern is uh, known as possessing as alpha thalassemia trait now other one that we have hbh disease and uh, now the silent carrier and alpha thalassemia trait uh, are not more pro complicated than uh, hbh disease but here we have a disease and uh, if you look toward here we have only one gene it's mean that uh, three genes are deleted and if we have three gene deleted so this pattern is known as hbh disease and finally zero genes here you can see that uh, no alpha gene are present over here all the gene are deleted here so we have four gene and four gene are deleted over here so this is a fatal condition and uh, this fatal condition is known as hydrops fatalis and we have hb bars over here so these are the four different types of thalassemia silent carrier alpha thalassemia trait hbh disease and hb bars hb bars or in hydros fatalis all the genes are deleted and hbh disease only one gene is present and three genes are deleted and alpha thalassemia trait we have two genes present and two genes are deleted wherein silent carrier we only only one gene is deleted other three genes are present over here with the help of uh, this picture we can easily understand the classification of alpha thalassemia and uh, look toward this picture this is normal pattern for alpha and uh, here you see that uh, one chain is delete one chain is deleted uh, here you have uh, two chain deleted and uh, here uh, you have uh, two chain deletion uh, from one uh, parent and uh, this is deletion but it's from one parent over here and uh, they have another parent and if you look toward here so here we have three genes uh, deleted and uh, finally in hydros fitless we have four gene deleted over here so this is a very simple picture and also tell about the same story now on the other uh, if we are going toward one by one the first one is silent carrier and uh, the silent carrier is mo missing only one functional gene uh, that is alpha gene and the three remaining alpha genes can direct the production of sufficient alpha globin to produce normal quantities of hemoglobin f and hemoglobin a in a, no in a per person and uh, affected uh, newborn infants about uh, one to two percent of hb bars may be present and uh, why these hb bars are present normally uh, you know that uh, we have hemoglobin f and uh, hemoglobin f is uh, usually made up of uh, two chain uh, that is uh, hemoglobin uh, alpha and uh, alpha chain and uh, gamma chain and uh, if we have the deletion of alpha chain so the gamma chain are um, there are excess amount of gamma chain and uh, they will also form a tetramer and that tetramer is known as hb bar but remember that in silent carrier uh, uh, after three months uh, this hb bars uh, disappear uh, because there are much more amount of uh, alpha chain uh, to, to, to form the um, uh, hemoglobin a and uh, um, reliable method for this diagnosis of this silent carrier genotypes are not available and uh, this is also called silent carrier because no one know about it's uh, it's a carrier or not but if there is some family history or uh, there are some uh, research uh, project or a family then we come to know that this is silent carrier uh, mostly mostly african americans uh, have 30 percent of uh, these uh, missing one gene this is a study and uh, which 30 percent of african americans uh, may be missing one of alpha gene 
is alpha thalassemia trait and this condition occur when two alpha genes are missing uh, and the missing genes may be either on the same chromosome or on the homologous uh, chromosome uh, this uh, condition is most common in south uh, east asia uh, west africa and mediterranean area uh, it uh, also occur in uh, about two percent of the african american and uh, uh, the thing which is most important is uh, alpha thalassemia trait is asymptomatic uh, the lab diagnosis of uh, this anemia the alpha thalassemia trait is uh, mostly uh, found with anemia and uh, the level of hemoglobin is about 12, 10 to 12 gram per deciliter and uh, the peripheral smear shows microcytic cells uh, with hypochromia uh, mcv is uh, either a 6 to 70 femtoliter that is a microcytic and the red blood cells may also appear slightly uh, hypochromic uh, the imbalance uh, between the alpha and beta globin change synthesis may result in a slightly excess product of HB tetramer and in the previous slide I have discussed why hemoglobin H or HB bars are found in this type of anemia uh, but remember that uh, neonates often show five to six percent level of HB bar uh, which may be use useful diagnostic feature in pinpointing to the presence of uh, the trait and uh, usually hemoglobin bar disappeared after about three months uh, as well in uh, silent carrier and in alpha thalassemia trait uh, as well so the only persistent uh, hematological feature which is found in alpha thalassemia trait is hypochromic uh, microcytic uh, anemia uh, this is a mild uh, form of anemia This is uh, HBH disease and uh, it's uh, proper alpha thalassemia trait, uh, proper alpha thalassemia. Uh, this uh, anemia is uh, also uh, known as alpha thalassemia major. Uh, where uh, uh, if we go towards the pathophysiology of this anemia, so three out of four globin genes are absent as we discussed above and under production of alpha globin chains and over production of beta globin chain, uh, beta chains tends to combine to from beta globin uh, tetramer as we already discussed this over here uh, over in the last uh, slides that uh, whenever we have more gamma chains so the gamma chains are going toward each other and they make a tetramer and then tetramer are known as HBH uh, these are also called uh, HB bar and uh, you know that the hemoglobin F is normally made up of two alpha and two uh, gamma chains and uh, many of these excess gamma chain will also form tetramer and that tetramer are known as HBH. So the patient with this type of anemia or uh, this type of disorder will have uh, from 5 to 40 percent of HBH in their blood and uh, uh, in the fetus there will be excess gamma chain production and uh, the production of uh, these tetramer are called hb bars so uh, those uh, fetus which have excess gamma chain are also containing some inclusions in their bodies and their red blood cells and uh, these inclusions are called hens bodies uh, because hbh is also less stable than hba and tend to precipitate more rapidly and this result in the production of Heinz bodies and uh, the, such red blood cells are then pitted by the mononuclear phagocytic cells of the spleen uh, the result is considerable uh, as poclocytosis as well as in the shortened lifespan of these red blood cells and uh, because uh, the spleen is more actively over here so splenomegaly is also found in hemoglobin H disease so summarizing this slide uh, this uh, anemia is also known as alpha thalassemia major three genes are completely deleted over here and uh, the production of gamma chains are mostly found over here that's why we have we, are, we have hemoglobin parts in this type of anemia and uh, uh, mostly anemia uh, like uh, in uh, alpha thalassemia uh, trade and in silent carrier the amount of HB part are less and after three months they are disappear but here we have five to forty percent of HBH in the blood Similarly, uh, 
uh, help you go toward the lab diagnosis of alpha thalassemia. So hemoglobin H is less stable as I have discussed this uh, or in the previous slide and uh, they make a precipitate and these precipitate result as Heinz bodies and when these Heinz bodies are precipitated by the spleen, so spleen is also uh, very active and we have found uh, some splenomegaly over here and uh, the result are pericolocytosis as we have seen a variation in size, a variation in the shape of the red blood cells in the uh, peripheral smear of this type of anemia. And uh, hemoglobin is uh, uh, between 7 to 11 gram per deciliter. It means that there is also microcytic hypochromic anemia. That's why NCV is low and CH is low. So it's also fall in the classification, uh, morphological classification of uh, thalassemia, uh, of um, uh, um, microcytic hypochromic anemia. And uh, we all know that microcytic hypochromic anemia has only four types of anemia. Like the first one is iron deficiency anemia and then uh, thalassemia syndrome. So you all know that uh, silent carrier or thalassemia trait or similarly alpha thalassemia measure all fall in the microcytic hypochromic anemias. And uh, because uh, I have discussed why splenomegaly is seen over here because spleen is more actively and that's why splenomegaly is uh, considered considerably high here. Um, Pegolocytosis, uh, so target cells are seen over here, pegolocytes are seen over here, microcytic uh, because they are microcytic, so microcytosis are seen over here and uh, bone marrow are going to respond, so the reticulocytosis are also seen over uh, here in this type of anemia. The fourth type is hydrops fatalis. And uh, first, we know about the hydrospatalis. What is hydrospatalis? So, hydrospatalis, or uh, it's also called hydrops. It's a condition that occurs when large amount of fluid build up in a baby's tissue and uh, organs causing extreme swelling. Uh, it might be from uh, because of the immune system or uh, for example like when the mother's immune system causes the baby's red blood cells to break down. Uh, it's a most dangerous complication of hemorrhagic anemia. So this type of anemia is called hydrospatalis or HB bars hydrospatalis or it's a severe type of alpha thalassemia major. Now what's happened because here we have an excessive amount of HB bars and you all know that that complete chain deletion occur over here because four all four genes are deleted over here and that's why uh, the HP parts uh, are produced a more uh, excessive in a more excessive amount so HP bars have high affinity for oxygen so this hemoglobin cannot supply tissue with the sufficient oxygen to sustain life in developing infant dies of hypoxia or congestive heart failure in vitro so hence complete deletion of alpha gene so hemoglobin a and hemoglobin f are completely missing over here and uh, this condition is incompatible with life and leads to death after birth uh, hemoglobin H or hemoglobin Portland and hemoglobin bars are an excessive amount in such fetus. Now, if we are going toward the lab diagnosis of alpha thalassemia, so this uh, form of uh, thalassemia we have a severe type of anemia and the hemoglobin level is uh, uh, 3 to 10 gram per deciliter. Mostly it's found 3 to 5 gram per deciliter. It's a severe type of microcytic hypochromic red blood cell. Markedly in isocytosis and peculocytosis are seen over here. Increase in RBCs, normal blastemia are seen over here. And then we uh, and we're, uh, if we run the electrophoresis for this type of blood, so hemoglobin bars are 80 to 90 percent, hemoglobin Portland are more 10 to 20 percent, hemoglobin H is sometime detectable over here but uh, hemoglobin A, hemoglobin A2 and hemoglobin F are completely absent over here. So this is severe type of uh, um, anemia uh, that is alpha thalassemia. It's also called hydrospatalis or it's also called HP bars hydrospatalis. So if, look toward, if we look toward the clinical features of this type of anemia, so infants uh, that survive until birth exhibit, birth exhibit significant physical changes upon routine exam. And uh, the, uh, the babies are, uh, first they are underweight 
Edematous with the distant abdomen, they have hepatosplenomegaly due to extramedullary hematopoiesis. Uh, we have discussed about it, uh, and uh, we also discuss uh, what is edematous or why these babies are uh, hydrops fetalis, uh, massive bone marrow hyperplasia, uh, especially erythroid hyperplasia, uh, hemolysis is severe, and uh, extensive deposition of hemosiderin are also present with, uh, over here. That's why hemolysis is uh, of severe. Form. Now, if uh, we look toward the uh, summary of this uh, um, thalassemia, that is alpha thalassemia, and alpha thalassemia have four different types. One is silent carrier, the other one is alpha thalassemia thread, HBH disease, and hydrose fetalis. Uh, the number of alpha chain deletion in silent carrier is one. Alpha thalassemia do not contain two chain, uh, two genes, and HBH has three genes deletion, while hydrose fetalis complete four gene deletion. Uh, HB parts uh, because the problem is because of HB uh, BART and HB uh, BART is the combination of gamma globin chains and they whenever they combine they form a hemoglobin an abnormal hemoglobin uh, which is not life friendly and that is known as HB BART uh, in silent carrier they are one to two percent but after uh, three months they disappear similarly in alpha thalassemia trait they also disappear after three months and the normal values are three to ten percent but mostly they are found three to five percent in hemoglobin H disease, they are found 25%, uh, while in hydrothelitis, we have complete deletion of 14 and 80 to 100% of uh, HB bars are present over here, and that's why we have uh, some different or some abnormal type of red blood cells. Uh, we have some inclusion over in red blood cells, so this is not also uh, life friendly. And uh, clinical picture of silent carry is silent because um, when if we do not have any research on a family history or if uh, if we do not have any family history so this type of anemia or this type of carrier are silent all of life uh, alpha thalassemia traits are mild hypochromic microcytic anemia and the hemoglobin is mildly uh, low from its normal uh, where hbh uh, in hbh disease uh, there is might some sort of hemolytic anemia and the hemoglobin level is uh, rather very very low from its normal lower limit. Microcytic hypochrome is seen over here. Uh, some normal blasts are seen over here. Peculocytosis are seen over here. Uh, similarly, uh, we have high reticulocytes count over here, and uh, if we perform the uh, pattern of electrophoresis, so we have uh, more HBH disease. Uh, so this is a type of anemia which needs some um, treatment, uh, some protocols for this uh, HBH disease. And uh, hydrose fetalis usually uh, death occurs in vitro or shortly after birth, birth because of the hypoxia. So we know that alpha thalassemia have four different types and uh, the first two types are not so uh, dangerous or not required any special treatment uh, that are uh, some thalassemia threat, alpha thalassemia threat and alpha silent carrier. So they do not require any special type of uh, treatment. Uh, but if they are in worsened position or some lady are pregnant or in surgery, so then they require blood transfusion if their blood level falls down of, uh, behind the seven or uh, then they require some blood transfusion or in some cases like in HBH disease uh, patient need uh, some splenectomy because uh, there might a uh, high uh, level of uh, uh, extra hematopoiesis and that's why spleen is overlarged from its normal uh, limit and uh, if we remove the spleen from such patient then they can survive or they can have a good treatment for this um, hydrospitalists have no treatment because um, after birth hydrospitalists fetalis are died and uh, this uh, is a more complicated and more severe type of uh, disease in alpha thalassemia so alpha thalassemia uh, have four different types the first two are not so dangerous and uh, the third one needs some required some transfusion or some sort of treatment uh, and the fourth one is not life friendly so that's why this is the treatment of uh, alpha thalassemia uh, i think it's uh, enough for today and uh, we have have next topic that is beta thalassemia major and beta thalassemia is major is most common in Pakistan and NWFP in Karachi in Central
in Balochistan and in Punjab as well. So we will discuss uh, beta thalassemia major, uh, beta thalassemia trait and intermediate thalassemia, beta thalassemia intermediate. So thank you for watching the video and keep watching the video. Thank you very much.